Test 6. In this section of the test, you will have the chance to show how well you understand spoken English. There are four parts to this section, with special directions for each part. Part 1. Directions. For each question, you will see a picture and you will hear four short statements. The statements will be spoken just one time. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speaker says. When you hear the four statements, look at the picture and choose the statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Choose the best answer, A, B, C, or D. Now listen to the four statements. You will hear A. He is on the phone. B. She is driving the car. C. She is typing on the computer. D. He is sitting next to her. Statement D. Best describes what you see in the picture. Therefore, you should choose answer D. 1. Question 1. A. His feet are on his desk. B. He is talking on the phone. C. There are two plants on his desk. D. He is turned away from the computer. Two. A. She's wearing a helmet. B. She's wearing jeans. C. She's on a busy road. D. She's riding her bike at a fast pace. Three. A. They are on a motorboat. B. The man in the back is wearing sunglasses. C. There are a lot of rapids. D. Only one man is currently paddling. Four. A. She is talking to the man with the beard. B. She is wearing a necklace. C. She is gesturing with her hands. D. He is standing next to her. Five. A. They are both wearing ties over their t-shirts. B. They are reading off a computer screen. C. They are both holding papers. D. One boy is laughing at the other. Six. A. The stage is crowded. B. The seats are full of people. C. There is a bright backdrop behind the speaker. D. People are entering the auditorium. Seven. A. The police officers are stopping a crime. B. They are dressed in uniform. C. They are arguing. D. Only one is wearing a hat. Eight. A. He is playing basketball. B. He is very calm. C. He is crossing his legs. D. He is upset. Nine. A. He is speaking into a microphone. B. His jacket is unbuttoned. C. Both his hands are full. D. He is pointing. Ten. A. Their backs are to the whiteboard. B. The man is wearing a jacket with his tie. C. They are writing with chalk. D. The woman is speaking to the man next to her. Test 6, Part 2, Directions. 
In this part of the test, you will hear a question or statement spoken in English, followed by three responses, also spoken in English. The question or statement and the responses will be spoken just one time. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully. You are to choose the best response to each question or statement. Now listen to a sample question. You will hear. Why are you late? A. I hope I won't be. B. My car broke down. C. He always is. The best response is choice B. My car broke down. Therefore, you should choose B. Eleven. Where should we meet? A. At 8 p.m., I'm going to the movies. B. At John's house at 8 p.m. C. Yes, let's meet up at 8 p.m. Twelve. Do you like the new boss? A. Absolutely. She is wonderful. B. Her name is Kelly Larson. C. I would not like that. Thirteen. Will you wait for me while I run to the bathroom? A. I don't have to go, thank you. B. I'll go running with you. C. Yes, I will be right outside the door. Fourteen. Where did you go on vacation? A. Because I needed a break from work. B. I went to Hawaii. C. I was gone for two weeks. Fifteen. Whose wallet is this? A. It's made of genuine leather. B. It is full of money. C. It must be David's. Sixteen. What did you think of the movie? A. I found it extremely dull. B. I think a movie sounds like a great idea. C. Let's go to the 9.30 showing. Seventeen. Should I give you some peace and quiet? A. I would love a peace, thank you. B. If you don't mind, I have such a headache. C. I will not be quiet. Eighteen. We should join a gym. A. But I don't like gym. B. That sounds like a good idea. C. Would he enjoy it? Nineteen. Has Adrian arrived yet? A. No, she won't be here until 7 p.m. B. Yes, she left yesterday. C. Yes, in a week. Twenty. What are we having for dinner? A. At a restaurant. B. I hope so. C. Chicken and green beans. Twenty-one. How much does this shirt cost? A. I think it's fifteen dollars, but I will check to be sure. B. It only comes in a small size. C. I hope it was worth the money. Twenty-two. Do you have a day off work tomorrow? A. Yes, I work from nine to five. B. No, I work nights. C. Yes, my day is wide open. Twenty-three. Are there any more tickets available? 
A, if you don't mind, I would appreciate it. B, I'm not available at the moment. C, just a few, how many do you need? Twenty-four. Is this puppy male or female? A. I think it's a girl. B. The male hasn't come yet. C. Neither. She's just really skinny. Twenty-five. How do you prefer to travel? A. I would love to travel if I had the time. B. By train, if that's okay with you. C. I need to arrive at my destination by 10. 26. His mother really let him have it. A. He is so lucky. B. Well, he deserves to be yelled at for lying. C. She is so generous. 27. For how long have you lived in your house? A. It's only been a year. B. I hope to make a down payment tomorrow. C. It's much bigger than my old apartment. 28. Emma called and said she's running late. A. She shouldn't go running late at night. It's dangerous. B. Should we start eating without her then? C. She's right. It is late. Let's go to bed. 29. I am so tired of her lying to people. A. I know. She is always in bed. B. You should take a nap. C. Me too. It's so deceitful. 30. How did the interview go? A. It's tomorrow at 10 a.m. B. It was for a marketing position. C. It was a disaster. 31. What type of music do you like? A. That's not my type. B. Jazz is my favorite. C. I don't feel like it right now. 32. Don't pay her any mind. A. Who do I pay then? B. Can I give her mine? C. But she's hard to ignore. 33. You should take a short break. A. Okay. I could really use one. B. It was already broken when I got here. C. I already have one at home. 34. What's the weather supposed to be like tomorrow? A. It depends on whether or not I'm up to it. B. It was rainy. C. I think it will be sunny again. 35. Would you like to go on a date with me sometime? A. It's August 25th. B. Of course. C. I liked it very much, thank you. 36. Are you ready to order? A. Yes, I will have the prime rib. B. Yes, I need more time. C. Yes, I will deliver it in a moment. 37. I haven't heard from you in a while. A. I didn't hear it either. B. I'm sorry, I've been so busy. C. You should get your ears checked. 38. 
I would like to return this blouse. A. Was there something wrong with it? B. When will you be back? C. That will be $25. Thirty-nine. Did you get enough sleep last night? A. Yes, I am exhausted. B. Yes, I stayed up all night. C. Yes, I feel very rested. Forty. When are you due to leave? A. Last night. B. So I did. C. In the morning. 6, Part 3 Directions You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response for each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 41 through 43 refer to this conversation. Thanks for helping, Mrs. Taylor. I'm so nervous about the exam. People who have taken the class already say it's really difficult. Well, the most important thing to know is that abnormal behavior that causes problems in living is when a person is considered mentally ill and is probably in need of medical help. That sounds easy enough. 41. What is the relationship between the man and a woman? Forty-two. What has made the man nervous about the upcoming exam? Forty-three. When is someone considered mentally ill? Questions forty-four through 46 refer to this conversation. I would like to exchange this digital camera. It won't turn on. Did something happen to it? Perhaps you dropped it or spilled liquid on it. No, it just stopped working. Okay, one moment. I will get another camera. In the meantime, please fill out this paperwork. 44. What caused the camera to break? 45. Where are they? 46. Why did the woman leave? 47. Questions 47 through 49 refer to this conversation. Did you see the game last night, Jill? Rooney had two goals. No, I spent the whole day studying for exams. I've barely had any free time since I've started medical school. Why don't you come to my house tomorrow for a break? Okay, but only for an hour. And don't try to persuade me to stay longer or I will fail. 47. Who is Rooney? 48. Why does the man invite the woman to his house? 49. What is the best description of Jill? Questions 50 through 52 refer to this conversation. What time do you land tomorrow? 4.20 p.m., but with the bad weather, it is uncertain. Why? I thought we could share a cab to the conference, but I arrive in L.A. at 1.30, and I don't want to wait around for three hours. I guess we'll see each other at the marketing meeting then. 50. How are the man and woman arriving in L.A.? Fifty-one. What is the purpose of their trip to L.A.? Fifty-two. Why won't the man and woman share a cab? Questions 53 through 55 refer to this conversation. 
Much of the labor we do in the factory is extremely tiring. Yes, I know. One ten-minute break and a half-hour lunch break is not enough. We would like two twenty-minute breaks. You know how much I respect my employees. I will see what I can do. Fifty-three. Who is the woman in relation to the man? Fifty-four. What does the man request? Fifty-five. How does the woman respond? Questions fifty-six through fifty-eight refer to this conversation. I was getting worried about you. Thanks for your concern. I was really sick for a while. We've missed you. The office just isn't the same without you here. How does it feel to be back? Overwhelming. I'm so behind with paperwork. Fifty-six. Why was the woman worried about the man? Fifty-seven. What did the woman mean when she said the office wasn't the same? Fifty-eight. How does the man feel about returning to work? Questions fifty-nine through sixty-one refer to this conversation. Could you tell me how to get to Bronson Park? I am supposed to meet a client there. That's on the other side of town. How did you end up here? The man at the convenience store must have given me bad directions. Well, I promise to give you flawless ones. Fifty-nine. What surprises the woman? Sixty. On what does the man blame getting lost? Sixty-one. How does the woman reassure the man? Questions sixty-two through sixty-four. Refer to this conversation. Can you work late this week? We need to get the marketing proposal completed by Friday. Every day but Wednesday. My son has his band concert. Thanks. I know this is last minute, but to make up for it, I'm paying for pizzas every night. I never say no to pizza. Sixty-two. Why will the man and woman be working late? Sixty-three. In addition to being a professional, the woman is also. Sixty-four. One aspect of working late that the woman is looking forward to is. Questions sixty-five through sixty-seven refer to this conversation. Did you send off the documents I left on your desk to Milan? You didn't leave anything on my desk. What? We'll lose the account if the Milan office doesn't receive them. I'm sure I left them. Please check again. I don't need to. I can see the documents on your desk. Sixty-five. What is one of the man's job responsibilities? Sixty-six. What may happen if the Milan office doesn't receive the documents? Sixty-seven. Why didn't the documents get sent out to Milan? Question sixty-eight through seventy refer to this conversation. Should I come to work for your company? I think you'll find that I am efficient and dedicated. How do you feel about being in charge of others? I am experienced in the art of delegation. I find it important to entrust all employees with important tasks in order to keep the company running efficiently. Sixty-eight. What kind of interaction is this? Sixty-nine. Why does the woman say she is efficient and dedicated? Seventy. How does the woman feel about delegation?
Test 6, Part 4, Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following announcement. Attention Tresco shoppers, please don't forget to take advantage of our sale on all summer clothing. If you buy one item, you get a second item of equal or greater value for half price. The sale ends at 5 p.m. tomorrow, so buy now before it's too late. And don't forget to apply for a Tresco credit card and receive a 15% discount from all your purchases. As always, we thank you for choosing to do your shopping with us, and we wish you a very pleasant day. 71. If the two summer clothing items you purchased were both priced at $20, how much did you pay for them in total? 72. When would you have to pay full price for all summer items? 73. Why would you apply for a Tresco credit card? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following message. Hello, and thank you for calling National City Bank. If you are calling to inquire about your balance, please press 1. If you are calling to update your account information, please press 2. If you are calling to report a card lost or stolen, please press 3. If you wish to speak to an operator, please hold the line and we will answer your call in the order that it's been received. Thank you for calling and please remember to try online banking at www.ncb.com. 74. What should you do if your card is stolen? 75. In what order will the operator answer your call? 76. What does National City Bank recommend to its customers? Questions 77 through 79 Refer to the following speech. Welcome to the DART Organization's annual conference. It is always such a wonderful and unique opportunity to have DART employees from all over the nation gather in one spot. This gives us an opportunity to discuss and compare strategies. Also, we at the National Office have been working hard at finding more effective tactics to employ in our local organizations. These will be presented throughout the week. So, again, welcome, and I hope you enjoy the conference. 77. How often does this conference take place? 78. Who attends this conference? 79. When was the speech given? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following announcement. Hello, this is your captain speaking. We should be arriving at our destination in approximately 15 minutes. I have turned the seatbelt sign on, so please fasten your seatbelt for the duration of the flight. Also, please put up your tray tables and return your seats to their straight and upright position. The flight attendants will come through the cabins momentarily and collect any remaining trash. We hope you enjoyed your flight with us and enjoy your stay in New York. Thank you for choosing American Eagle Airways. 80. Until when will the passengers need to have their seatbelts fastened? 81. Why will the flight attendants come through the cabins? 82. What is this flight's destination? 
Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following talk. Welcome to the campus tour of Kalamazoo College. My name is Lauren Stockdale, and I am the head of the admissions department. We're excited to have you here. The Kalamazoo College community is known for developing a model of an educated citizen that combines scholarship, civic engagement, and in-depth living experiences in other countries. As a highly selective, nationally renowned, and internationally oriented four-year College of Arts and Sciences, Kalamazoo College has developed a tradition of excellence. It enrolls 1,234 students from 38 states and 14 countries. Founded in 1833, K College is among the 100 oldest colleges and universities in the nation. And we still have many of our original buildings. Let's start walking toward the Upjohn Building. 83. What is not a part of Kalamazoo College's model? 84. On average, for how many years do students attend Kalamazoo College? 85. What is unique about Kalamazoo College? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following forecast. Winds descending the Cascades Tuesday blocked the cool Pacific sea breeze and sent temperatures to record levels in Washington and Oregon. However, it looks like this record-breaking heat will finally subside in the near future. However, for those of you hoping to go to the beach or spend the weekend outside without worrying about heat stroke, never fear. Normal temperatures in the 70s and 80s are forecast to return this weekend. 86. What caused the hot weather? 87. What is significant about the hot weather? 88. What will happen this weekend? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following newscast. Tonight, the Houston Comets will take on the Utah Stars in the first round of the playoffs. All eyes will be on Houston's new Big Three. Cheryl Swoops, Tina Thompson, and Jenneth Arcane want to show they can win the title without Cynthia Cooper, and the trio push Utah all season. Houston averaged 75.3 in his three wins against the Stars during the season. However, when it comes to the playoffs, past records usually don't matter much. It all depends on which team plays with the most heart and determination. 89. When will the basketball game take place? 90. How many Houston players will be watched carefully? 91. Who no longer plays for the Houston Comets? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following talk. A veterinarian who contracted the skin form of anthrax from an infected cow has been treated successfully. The veterinarian was infected last month while doing an autopsy on the cow. Anthrax occurs naturally in the soil and can be passed to livestock when they eat grass. 92. What is the veterinarian's medical state? 93. How did the veterinarian get infected? 94. How do livestock contract anthrax? 95 through 97 refer to the following speech. Our public schools reading scores are among the very worst in the country. This is unacceptable. Our children are our future and we are not only letting them down but damaging the future of our city if we allow children to graduate from high school without being able to read. These children will not be able to find jobs and ultimately plummet into poverty. 
It is not just an education problem. It's the entire city's problem. It is our problem. Action must be taken immediately. 95. Who is the speaker probably addressing? Ninety-six. What is the specific problem being addressed? Ninety-seven. What does the speaker want? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following message. Thank you for calling the Quello Clinic. If this is a medical emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. If you are calling to make an appointment, press 1. If you are calling to reschedule or cancel your appointment, press 2. If you wish to speak to a nurse, please hold the line and someone will be with you shortly. 98. What should you do if you have a medical emergency? 99. When can you not make an appointment at the clinic? 100. What should you do if you want to speak to a nurse? 100. That is the end of the test.